In this video, we will cover the basic ideas behind Venn diagrams, including either or questions, and what it means for a number to be in two categories. Just a warning, the Venn diagrams in the decision-making subtest of UCAT are a bit funkier looking than the ones you have likely come across in textbooks. But don't let that put you off. Try to follow the simple approaches that we tell you about in this video and keep on practicing. Our objectives over the next five minutes or so are to describe every section of the Venn diagram and prepare you for the trickier Venn diagram questions using an example. So what do the Venn diagrams of a UCAT look like? Here's a good example. One of the hallmarks of a decision-making Venn diagram is the presence of multiple overlapping shapes. As you probably know, a number appearing inside two or more shapes means that the number represents individuals of objects that are in all of the overlapping categories. For example, the three in the Venn diagram shown represents books that are both romance and fantasy. If a number is inside none of the ships, as the number seven is, it belongs in none of the categories given. You might have gotten 25 as your answer to this question. This would be because you didn't spot that one of the 12s that we can see is in fact inside three overlapping ships, those that correspond to fantasy, horror and sci-fi. As the question was asking for a number of books that fall into exactly two categories, these 12 books do not count. Instead we have three that belong to both romance and fantasy, plus five belong to fantasy and sci-fi, plus another five belonging to fantasy and horror. Attention to detail is the key when tackling Venn diagrams. When you see more than two ships, so in our example where sci-fi, horror and fantasy overlap, be extra vigilant and focus on this area in particular. I advise taking a moment to look at this area and separate the overlapping values accordingly in your minds. So for example, five books are both sci-fi and horror, five are sci-fi and fantasy, and 12 are sci-fi, fantasy and horror. This reduces the risk of making a careless mistake and falling into the trap. Things get a little trickier when either or questions are being asked. The answer is 48. The quickest way to get to this answer is simply add up all the numbers inside the triangle, which represents mathematics, and all the numbers inside the oval, which represents English, being careful not to add the two twice. This means calculating 19 plus 5 plus 7 plus 12 plus 3 plus 2, which gives 48. Do not sum up the numbers in each shape separately and then add the results. This will result in the two which represents those assigned both English and mathematics homework being counted twice. Another easily made mistake is to not read the question properly and only add up the students who were assigned only English homework, which was 12, only mathematics homework, which was 19, and both English and mathematics, which was two, giving the answer 33. This isn't even an option, so you would have realized you had made an error, but in doing so, lost valuable time. So don't forget, always read the question fully. It takes practice to step back and calmly count the numbers inside of a ship and not to be distracted by whether or not they are inside another ship. But practice does make perfect. We hope this video has demystified Venn diagrams and shown you how they can be tested within the decision-making subtest of a UCAT. Once you get over the initial shock value of some of the shapes and the number of overlaps, these questions can be among the easiest to solve quickly. Keep trying. That concludes another UCAT lesson. If you like the strategies and content we're developing and want to see more free content, please leave us a like and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any UCAT questions, leave us a comment below and we'll help you sort it out and get your preparation up to speed.